hey guys welcome to my channel uh today i'm going to be showing you i've been playing around with uh, nancy's idea of will it foil and i wanted to show you some stuff here i don't know if you can see the foil sparkle in this thing but that crafty crita stuff will foil any embossing powder so I stamped this out in a couple of different colors. There you can see the shine. And um, then I embossed it with clear embossing powder and it boiled. That's with the Crafty Krita, okay? This one, it's kind of hard to see foil, but it's here. And this one I had painted with the, this Oh, where is it? This shimmery goodness that I colored. And this is when the experiment started to happen because here I had um, clear embossed, no, silver, silver embossed this little umbrella and the Crafty Krita foil stuck to the embossing powder but not the um, shimmery goodness must have been because it was taller but here's one Let's see if I can get it to do its thing I painted it with the shimmery goodness and then I foiled it with the crafty crita ah, so cool so uh, and that's the crafty crita clear clear and so I started experimenting with what I had and I have this ranger sticky embossing powder and so that's not where i started but it's where i ended because i got the best result this is i just did it on black ink with clear embossing or with the sticky embossing powder and i use deco foil so i'm getting the best results with deco foil and you'll see that soon this one, I experimented with the Ranger Copper Embossing Powder and the Creative Station uh, Foil. Nah, it didn't work out that great. This one was with the Clear Embossing, uh, the Sticky Embossing Powder and Technique Junkies um, Holographic Foil. Yeah, it didn't work out so well. I'm not having a lot of luck with the Technique Junkies with this method. Here's another Creative Vision, see it over foils. And this was with the sticky embossing powder. So the difference here between the deco foil, you get a lot more detail. And this is another deco foil with the sticky embossing. And this was the deco, oh, not deco, Creative, station with uh, wow silver embossing another technique junkie sticky that I'm trying to make work <laughs> these ones I decided to try and stamp with that um, with the transparent gloss uh, Ranger texture paste but it's very hard to get a nice even stamp with it these ones came out a little bit better, but still they're not, you know, they're kind of funky. Uh, this one I did with some Seth After embossing powder and deco foil. It didn't totally stick because the Seth After that I have is kind of multi-dimensional. Okay, so this was stamped with the Monarch. Hope I can get that shine there for you with the monarch um color of the first fine clair and then clear embossing powder and then the crafty crita foil on top i'm trying to see if i can get it to shine there for you um same stuff with technique junkies didn't work out and this was the deco foil with the Versamark ink and clear embossing powder. So what I thought I'd show you today is how I'm getting the best results. 
I'm going to turn on my mini mink. Oh, try the power button. And I'm going to turn the heat setting to four. I'm going to just scoot that back out of the way here a little bit while it heats up. And I'm going to take just a scrap piece of paper here. This is in the way totally. Take this scrap piece of paper here and I'm going to start off with the clear and you can tell my mink is already hot because I've been working with it. And this is a Tim Holtz stamp that I've been working with from the Flutter collection. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first take my anti-static powder bag and make sure there's nothing because that sticky embossing powder is awful. It gets on everything. Then I'm gonna take my Burst Fine Clear I'm going to warm up my heat tool. And we'll go ahead and stamp down. Get ready with my embossing powder here. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour the powder on. Tap off. Clean this up right away because I don't want it all over everything. Oh, it's going to get over everything anyway, but you know. Oops, got some of that stuff out there in there. Whoops, it didn't. <sighs> all right. And let's go ahead and emboss this. Now you just want to go until it's shiny and then I'm going to kind of let it cool for a minute because you're going to have to dusty dusty <laughs> and you can see right here where it's I got a little bit off there it's all right but I want to cool this down completely so it's not sticky when I hit my dusty dusty with it run your finger over check it okay we're good because I don't want that embossing powder getting in the way of my foiling. Or that anti-static powder, I should say. And then this is the deco foil. Let's cut a little piece off. Hmm, let's go in the pink blue range here. And I'm also going to dust this. Lay it on. this one it's dirty I got acetone I just haven't gotten around to cleaning it yet I'll go ahead and put it in my carrier sheet yeah, can't stay nah. <laughs> got a little static going on there and I'm gonna run it through the mink and I'm gonna run it through the mink there we go I had a lot of fun trying to experiment around with that mainly I was playing start out with just playing with these um, these right here that I made um, with just some of my um, paint powder and the uh, shimmery goodness and they really they paint nicely the whole idea here would be to double stamp so leave the stamp um, in the stamp positioner and then do the painting and then stamp over it again to get a nice crisp clear image and I'm just kind of waiting on that to come through the mink and I apologize for my air conditioner but there's no way I could not have it on it is so hot already okay so here it is and it's hot you want to let it cool but I usually like to take the paper out while it's cooling I'm gonna go ahead and shut off my mink here And then I'm gonna turn it over and just kind of burnish like this with my hand. Help it cool down maybe, I don't know. <laughs> and let's see what we got. 
Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, that's a pretty detailed stamp. If you had, you know, a stamp that was just, you know, pretty solid, then you'd get some good coverage with the deco foil. Is it FSC approved? Meh, I mean, considering that we're trying to do a fine detail um, stamp, I, I say yes. What say you? Anyways, that's all for today. I thought that I would just pop in and show you my mad scientist experiments. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I have a new video coming out. I am still kind of on a vacation right now, so I'm pumping them out hard and fast, but when I get back to work, I'll probably be about once a week, Tuesday or Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.